<laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, you can do better than that. Come on, clap your hands, all you people. Good stuff. Turn to somebody and say, good stuff. Did you get that? Good stuff. Good stuff. Amen. Praise God. Am I, am, am I submitted or am I compliant? That's serious right there. Turn to somebody and say, is he talking to you? No, well, is she talking to you? Amen, somebody. That's some good stuff, man. Now, now, look at me. Um, we may call ourselves what we call ourselves, and that's cool, but other people, not your buddies, but other people should be able to affirm that or, or confirm that. Tell us somebody that says he's talking to you. Tell us somebody else. See, you, you can't even submit when I say that. I ain't got a turn. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and again, that's, that's an example. Praise God. Are you there? Bishop, I don't know what this is, but I don't know. Your, that your faith keeps kind of knocking against my back. And so whatever this is, I hear the Lord saying, I'm creating rivers in the desert for you. And I heard the Lord say that there were, I don't know, doors that, that were seemingly locked doors. Things that you knew, wait a minute, this is the part of the promise, God, and how come they won't open? And I hear the Lord saying, in the next quarter, you're going to begin to see doors open big for you. For there's some things that you've endured as a couple. There's some things that you've had to walk through. And there was some what seemed to be hard road. And the Lord said, I was with you the whole time. And God says, now those doors where there seemed to be a, a no, wherever you, you, you turned, it seemed, why, why is there a no? Lord, why are we in this place of dry place? seems like dry places. And God says, it's going to be, there's going to be moisture all over the place because he's saying utter breakthrough is coming for you. Utter breakthrough. He's talking about the, the type of blessing that nobody can deny. Because God said, I was just perfecting that which concerns you. God say, get ready because the door is going to open big for you. There are some doors and there are some promises that were spoken over you that you knew and you were really just trying to stay in this place of, of, of holding because you were waiting on the timing of the Lord. God says, you're about to step into the, the, the He says, this is your se season coming up is a season that I've called you to walk in. And he says, I'm going to open those doors big for you. For you are qualified, man of God. I don't know what this is, but it's almost like someone tried to, to speak against or to, 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 to cancel out some things. Yeah, God says, no, no, that was not for me. And the Lord says, I have qualified you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody in here. He says, I've qualified you, and I've set you up, and I've equipped you, and there's some things you've walked through that I've placed in your backpack for just for this season and this hour. God says there's not just those that were connected to you, but there's, there's people who've been watching who have been utterly waiting to see you because they knew you and her were good people. Why was this happening to good people? And the Lord says, I'm giving you the key because I'm going to unlock things for you. And then I'm going to unlock things that are, unlock it for people that are connected to you. I'm going to use you to unlock the prisons that they've been in. Because you dared to be different. And you dared to step out of a place of religion. Because as she was speaking, it's not just a thing of religion for you. But you are in relationship with the master, the two of you. And God says, I'm going to cause credibility to return to, to, to the ministry that I've called you to, where people have tried to, to cancel out and the devil tried to remove that place of credibility. God says, I'm going to call it to be real again. And they won't be able to deny what you release and what I say. God says, I'm going to cause things to grow and blossom and bloom because of what I've placed on it. He says, it's not man that placed it on the inside of you. He said, it was me that placed it on the inside of you. And nobody will be able to take away what I've given you. Somebody give the Lord a sh Come on, give the Lord a shout. It is so. And the season that coming is that season. 
in these three months, you'll begin to see doors fling open that you were doing everything to, to wait on the Lord and to watch and to, to say, God, we trust you. And boy, it's been hard and it's been hard places and things have been tried. But God says, get ready because water's coming. God says, get ready because the moisture's coming. God says, get ready because the rain is coming. Jesus' name. Increase. Increase comes to you. Increase. I'm going to create increase. Increase is coming. God says, I'm going to open the door and you'll have increase because you've learned how to be a base. But God says, now it's time for the two of you to know how to abound. In Jesus' mighty name. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Come on, give the Lord a praise. You can do this. Come on. It belongs to you. And it is your inheritance. It is your inheritance. And you will tap into this place. In Jesus' name. Somebody shout with them. Come on, you, you need to rejoice. You need to rejoice. You need to rejoice with them that rejoice. Come on. I, I, come on. Let's just take a minute right now. Come on. Give the Lord a praise. If it happens for him, I'm telling you, it will and it can and it shall happen for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He said that this will be a sign to all my faithful ones who has their eye on you. Because you are not forgotten. You are not behind and you're not out of season. But God has caused you to be in season in this time. Because just like she was speaking, you know how to find God. God says, and my son and daughter, they know how to sniff me out. They know where my presence is. They know what's the right house and the right church and the right leader and the right anointing. They know how to sniff it out. And then they know where I am not. And the Lord says, because of your faithfulness, God says, I'm going to cause you to abound in the coming season. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody give the Lord. You can, you can do this. Come on, give the Lord a praise, somebody. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can do this. Give the Lord a praise, somebody. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. <laughs> Somebody's believing God for their their their. their I just want to say your dad, but I, God says I got that covered. God says manifestation is coming this week. You're gonna see it. I don't know what that's about, but somebody is believing God for their dad, and God says just call this out. I'm sorry, these are words of knowledge. Somebody, some people understand what I'm doing. Some people don't always get that, but I just gotta help you. Amen. Somebody in here, restored restoration. Push somebody and say restoration. Push somebody else and say, that, that, come on, you, you ain't making no difference. Push somebody and say, restoration. What are y'all going to do when we get real prophetic? <laughs> Amen, somebody. We actually are, but and the, the challenge is, like she's talking about, fear sometimes block you. It blocks you from stepping out for real, out of the boat. Amen, somebody. Listen, a couple things and then I'm done. First